All right, I found out that this technique works best for me. First of all, let's go ahead and unloosen the screws on all four corners. So on the first screw, I'm just going to unloosen a few threads. And I'm going to crisscross to the top up here, undo a few threads. Again, we're going to do that a little bit at a time for all four corners so we can have the pressure evenly lift off the CPU. So let me take care of that. And we want to make sure to keep turning until we know for sure that the screws have unthreaded from all four corners. Okay, now that I've ensured that all four screws have been unthreaded, it is still stuck to the CPU with the thermal paste. But also the tricky part for me is that these screws are still in the back plate on all four corners. And the goal is trying to release those screws from that back plate while taking the CPU cooler off. But before we continue, let's just remind ourselves to unplug the CPU fan from the motherboard header. Okay, now for the moment of truth. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm putting my hand on the fan and heat sink firmly. I'm gonna ever so slightly lift up because I wanna lift up and at the same time, I wanna turn it so that when I'm lifting up and turning, I'm gonna clear those screws from the back plate and thus while I'm turning, I'm gonna break that seal of the thermal paste. And just like that, I have safely removed the Rave Stealth cooler from this Ryzen CPU. If you know some better ways of uninstalling this cooler, please leave some comments below and thanks for watching.